Hello there! Welcome to the Pets Aplenty channel. Caring for a guinea pig can sometimes be challenging because some owners fail to realize that their little cavy is a highly delicate pet that requires more care than we realize. Many guinea pig owners make several mistakes that may appear harmless, but they might lead to a shortened and less happy life for your pig. Today on the channel, we will be telling you about the common guinea pig mistakes to avoid so you can be well prepared before bringing your little ball of fur home. Watch to the end so you will not miss out on anything. Before we go further, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. Mistake number one, buying your guinea pig from a pet store. Some pet stores mistreat animals by stuffing them in cages that aren't large enough to hold even one pig, but frequently house three or more at a time, which ends up affecting their health and behavior. Instead, adopting a guinea pig is the best option if you want to own one. Thousands of guinea pigs of various ages are looking for homes at shelters and rescues. A rescue that specializes in small pets, such as guinea pigs, will know how to care for one better than any pet store and this is guaranteed. Your local rescue will also be glad to answer any question you have about your new pet, something a young staff at the pet store may not be able to do. What's more, it will be easier for you to quickly find a cage mate for your new pet, eliminating the introducing a new pig problem. Mistake number two, buying a cage that is too small. Building your own custom guinea pig cage is the greatest way to ensure that you obtain a suitable cage for your KV. This is easier than it sounds and considerably less expensive than trying to buy a large enough cage. Some people may assume that an acceptable cage for a guinea pig is far too large, but when you compare the size of an average sized guinea pig to the size of an ordinary store bought cage, you can see that it'd be like keeping a hamster in a shoebox. Would you support a hamster in a shoebox sized cage, its ability to turn around and take five steps does not imply that it is of appropriate size. Remember that exercise is essential for the longevity of guinea pigs as it is for all living beings. For details on building your own custom guinea pig cage, click on the link that pops up at the end screen of this video. We'll do well to link it there. Mistake number three, not getting a cage mate. Guinea pigs are highly social creatures who get more frightened by the sight of a human than other piggies. People often believe that owning only one pig is sufficient and that it does not require a companion. This may be true if you have enough time to offer your pet the attention it needs from a cage mate, but you have to consider that a guinea pig is also a prey animal. Therefore, no matter the time you spend with your guinea pig, he would still prefer to hang out with another guinea pig. Staying in a confined place can only be much more enjoyable when you have a companion. Not to worry, your pet's cage will not smell any worse than your current cage if it is adequately sized for two guinea pigs and cleaned more often. It is a lot satisfying to observe their variances in personality, see them interact, and catch them cuddling together. Mistake number four, using the wrong bedding. Fleece is a modern bedding alternative and the best around. It's both more ecologically friendly and less expensive than any other option. Using fleece allows you to spot clean your cage daily, allowing your pig to live in a cleaner environment. Instead of soaking in urine and getting mushy like paper or wood bedding, fleece will enable it to pass straight through, leaving the top layer dry to the touch. It also doesn't hurt that cleanup is a breeze and your cage looks better. Wood shavings or paper-based bedding is one of the most prevalent beddings used in guinea pig cages. This is perfectly acceptable if you use the proper kind. However, small pieces of paper, wood, or dust ingested by a guinea pig may cause respiratory issues or irritate its sensitive eyes. Wood shavings and paper-based bedding are readily kicked around and aren't the cleanest alternative because your guinea pig will be living in its excrement until the cage is clean correctly. Mistake number five, careless handling. 
Get your guinea pigs used to your hands by laying them in the habitat for a few minutes and offering rewards on your hand. This includes chasing a guinea pig about the habitat with your hands, not supporting a guinea pig's midsection or feet while holding, and allowing small children to play with guinea pigs unsupervised. It's preferable if guinea pigs come to you to be taken out of their enclosure. Chasing them with your hands causes stress. Guinea pigs must always be supported when held to avoid harm and wiggling, which could lead to dropping. Children generally will not know how to interact with guinea pigs, nor will they have the coordination or understanding of their power. So, render the proper parental guidance. Mistake number six, bad foods or overfeeding of good foods. Processed, salty, sugary, and fatty foods top the list of what we refer to as bad foods. Also do well to avoid dairy, meat, alcohol, caffeine, or foods that cause gas. Fruits like berries should be offered most sparingly because of their sugar content. When in doubt about a type of food, ask your guinea pig's veterinarian. Bear in mind that guinea pigs are herbivores. They can eat as much grass hay as they wish, but portion control is needed for pellets and even health healthy treats like veggies. Mistake number seven, poorly ventilated or all wire floored homes. Guinea pigs require a well-ventilated environment, which means no aquariums. Because hard or all-wire floors can cause painful bumblefoot, give an enclosure with solid sections in bedding or blankets in areas so that guinea pigs can rest on solid or soft regions as they like. With all cage accessories in place, the enclosure should allow guinea pigs to wander around freely. Mistake number 8. Skimping on grass hay, fresh water, and vitamin C. The guinea pig diet consists primarily of hay. It is present in about 80% of the guinea pig's diet and it is highly required due to its fiber content, which aids in the maintenance of the guinea pig's digestive tract and wears down the continually growing teeth. Clean water is essential to a guinea pig's life. Guinea pigs require vitamin C from their food because they cannot produce it. Many guinea pig pellets contain additional vitamin C and you may also provide guinea pigs safe fresh vegetables and tiny amounts of vitamin C rich fruits. Guinea pigs can get scurvy and die if they don't get this vitamin. Mistake number 9. Free roaming in unsafe areas. Any space that hasn't been guinea pig proofed is considered dangerous. This includes any location with poisons, exposed power wires, bite sized items on the floor, sharp objects, other free roaming dogs, unattended small children, and other hazards. Be wise about granting your pet the freedom to roam a room. Kitchens, garages, and laundry facilities, for example, should always be off limits. Birds of prey swooping down, sickness from scat, insect bites, or standing water and unknown pesticides all pose unique challenges in the outdoors. Mistake number 10. Sharing its habitat with other animals. Guinea pigs require a reasonably large habitat or cage with plenty of room to run around. People with more than one pet may be tempted to have guinea pigs share their living area with other non-predator pets, but it is not a good idea. Bear in mind that while various species can commonly live in the same house, they cannot share the same living space. Guinea pigs should only be kept in cages with other guinea pigs. Diseases can spread between species in addition to possible interspecial aggressiveness. This is particularly common in carrier rabbits who appear healthy yet infect guinea pigs. Mistake number 11. Under grooming. Grooming for a guinea pig entails nail trimming and hair combing. When nails grow too long, they might break, split, be torn out, and this can cause pain while walking. So, do this when necessary to save your guinea pig from suffering. Baths are only required if guinea pigs get into something filthy or are about to enter a show ring. Mistake number 12. Health Negligence 
Guinea pigs are prey animals that will conceal any disease for as long as possible. This implies that when you detect something isn't right with your guinea pig, it could be hours, days, or weeks later. Aside from evident indicators of disease, deviations from the ordinary are your first indications of potential guinea pig health issues. So act fast by seeking medical help for your pet. Your pet is also your family, so treat him as such for a healthier and happier life. If you enjoyed watching this video, click on the like button and turn on the post notification. Remember to subscribe to our channel, turn on post notifications, and check out our playlist for more interesting pet videos. Thank you for watching.